Okay, it says I'm live. Good morning, good morning. I am Brenda Hillard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I am located in North Central Minnesota. So, but don't let the Minnesota thing stop you from thinking about joining my team or tuning in and watching regularly. My, I have customers really, truly all across the United States. There's a comment that just popped up. It says, thank you for commenting. Be sure to like and share. Um, I won't be I won't be typing comments during the live, but I will go in after and add comments and respond to your questions. So here we go. Good morning, good morning. Got your coffee? Yeah, we're gonna need coffee this morning. I um, am going to be showing you a card that uses the suite of products called Let's Go Fishing. And any of you that know me know that I love, love, love to fish. It is, I'm, I'm more about winter fishing than I am summer fishing, but I do like to summer fish too. So, all right, here we go. Oh, good morning, Kay's card. I'm so glad you're here, and happy hot coffee Saturday to you. Um, yeah, I'm going to flip down to my workstation, and we'll get started. All right, here we go, here we go. Um, I have sitting right here in front of me the Gone Fishing Bundle. It's a 16-piece photopolymer set. And it's got some great sentiments in it. Good things come to those who bait. So glad that you're my dad. Happy Father's Day. And I love that there's a retirement sentiment in here as well. All right, let's see if we popped in here to the live. And oh, everything is working just as planned. So exciting. I love all these lures and I have a couple I have a couple of things to show you about those. So, the die set is here. You'll see that I have my post-it tape on the pieces that I'm going to be using. But there are 17 different dies. Really, really fun. And I haven't gotten to play with this quite as much as I would like, but I do have a couple of things to show you. In this suite of products, there is also a 3D embossing folder. And this is, um, it looks like rope. It, it is just so cool. And I have a piece of that cardstock embossed. I had it here to show you. Hmm, what do you think I did with it? Not sure. But, let me look in the back of this. No. Well, it'll, it'll turn up here, but... In the suite of products, you get the bundle, you get the rope embossing folder, and then there is this beautiful pack of paper. And look at all the colors that it coordinates with. And the background on most, actually all of it, is very vanilla. So you can see that I have it on a white cardstock here, and you can see that the that the backgrounds are very vanilla, which is cool because I don't feel like I use very vanilla often. Good morning, Beth. All right, here we go. You're going to kind of think it's odd, but I pulled out this little craft organizer I had in my drawer, and now it really does look like a tackle box. But when I was die cutting, I just stamped a bunch and die cut them out and then that way they are just ready good morning Donna um, they are just ready to put on cards and doesn't it really truly look like a tackle box yeah alright so let's bring in wait till you see this this is gonna scare you a little bit but here's all of the colors of ink <laughs> that I used when I was stamping my lures and stamping my backgrounds and my sentiments. So I have Sweet Sorbet and Tahitian Tide. I have Lemon Lime Twist, 
Coastal Cabana Pumpkin Pie Garden Green Crushed Curry Mossy Meadow Smoky Slate and Basic Gray. So I'm going to take out the Basic Gray and the Sweet Sorbet. I have some scraps and I did use scraps of Basic White, not very vanilla. And I guess I could switch over and stamp some on very vanilla, but I will be using um, I will be using the the um, the whites when we assemble our card because I did die cut ahead. But I wanted to just show you all of these pieces and how easy they are to stamp. So I'm going to start with the bobber. I'm inking it up with basic gray and I'm just going to stamp right on my very vanilla cardstock, okay? Now these do overlie, so I'm going to ink up with sweet sorbet and I found that sweet sorbet really worked better than real red. I thought real red was going to be the bobber color, but the sweet sorbet is it. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. It just gives me a better image, you'll see, with the photopolymer. See how this one skipped a little bit, which I'm fine with, but this one you get a much better image. And when I'm stamping this down, I'm just lining up that bottom curve with the bottom of the bobber. So there we have our four bobbers. Next, I'm going to bring in the um, the lure. And is what I want to do first is stamp this in basic gray. And then I can bring in my little, like the lure head, and I can make one red or sweet sorbet. Doesn't it look real? So real, right? Okay, I'm going to close this up for now. And let's do a, let's do a blue. I need my Simply Chamois. Just give that a swipe on there, ink this up, we'll have a, ooh, that's a good color for the lure. And then I'm going to do a Coastal Cabana. And a lemon lime twist. Looks like my like Facebook is bleeping out there with my video, but remember if they're if you're having trouble viewing, I'll just keep going here, but I will upload to YouTube if it's being all crazy. Alright, so there's that. Fun, right? Let's bring in this one. And I'll bring in this other, it's like a little mini daredevil. We'll do four of those. One. Cool. And then this is the, the fill-in stamp, as I call it. And let's do one in crushed curry. Ooh, I like it. Let's do one in, how about garden green? Garden green is a color that I've been using a lot lately. I haven't for a long time and now I'm kind of back to loving garden green. 
And how about a pumpkin pie? Who doesn't want an orange lure in their box? Oh, I like it. And then let's do that last one again in sweet sorbet so it looks truly like a little, a little mini daredevil. Okay, so there's our, our lures. So, next is what I did is I cut a piece of designer series paper that measures four by five and a quarter and this comes from the Let's Go Fishing Designer Series paper. I love this plaid. And this side has fish. And there is a die in the set that matches this fish. But they're really not hard to fussy cut out should you decide that you would like more fish on your on your card. Okay. So we're going to be using this plaid side. I have a card base, very vanilla, just a standard card base that measures five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I did use thick, very vanilla for this because the front of our card, I'll show you what we're making, I guess I haven't even done that, looks like this. So. I want to make sure that the card is nice and sturdy to hold all of what we have on the front of it, okay? So, I found that this worked really well. Um, if I had just the one down, it didn't feel like there was enough relief on the card or dimension, whatever you want to call it. So I cut out two of these from the die set. And I'm just going to go around and add just some small little amounts of glue. And I'm going to glue two of these together. And it's really easy to do because the one side has the one clasp and then the other has the two hinges for the box, right? So I'm going to go just like this and glue those together and then like I said that just gives us a little bit more um, dimension on the front of our card. I cut a piece of smoky slate and this measures, let me think about this, four and seven eighths by three and five eighths, and it really fits pretty close. I did have to trim a couple of the corners, and it may have been just how I glued it on, but is what I'm going to do now is just, again, take my glue bottle, and add And it doesn't have to be a lot, just a few little dots here and there. Just enough to hold it in place. All right, so now I can put this down on as a backer for our tackle box. And I did get a little a little splurge of glue there, but that's okay. That won't show up once we get all of our tackle in the box. So, now I'm going to bring in Smoky Slate, and I'm going to stamp a little, a little tone on tone here. And there's this little lined stamp in there. Looks like this. And I don't know if they meant it to be water or whatever, but who has a totally clean tackle box? 
nobody, nobody that I know. So I'm just going to give a little bit of a little bit of stuff in each of the compartments. Now, I could do it up here too, I guess, because it is just tone on tone. And then I wanna bring in the Mossy Meadow, and I'm going to stamp right here in this, in this compartment of our tackle box, and it says, good things come to those who wait. I would love if it said, good things come to those who bait, but it doesn't. It's sad. So I'm just going to stamp our sentiment right in, the, in that compartment. And because these are photopolymer, you can see right through and place it where you want. It's awesome. So now, I have opened and closed and stamped with all of those Hey, Colleen, good morning. Happy to see you. All right. So, remember we stamped all of our stuff? All of our little lures? Well, here's what I like to do. Just take a piece of low-tack tape or post-it note tape. I line it up and just kind of press it down onto my cardstock. I'll take my lure die and put that on like so and last but not least our cute little jigs okay now because I've done it like this I can run this right through our die cutting machine all three of them at the same time and just for the sake of saving time I'm not going to do it maybe I will do it right now because I did stamp this on very vanilla versus white, and let's just compare and see what the difference is, okay? So I've got the bobber, the little, they look like little daredevil lures, and then our little fish jigs. So I'm just going to quickly run that through, and... When I run it through, I lay them out like this on my cutting plate. So now, see, I've cut out um, three at the same time, which makes this little process go much quicker. I didn't really plan on cutting all these out, but I think I will. And remember, I have another layout. Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Excuse me, excuse me. All right. Just like that. And run it through. And then I get three more of my, my little jigs. And we'll do it one more time because it's always good, right, to have an odd number in our in our layout here. line those up and then like I said you can use like a blue painters my low tack tape I like to use post-it tape maybe I want a blue instead of a red I do Tahitian Tide that one was I like the color all right so there we have our stamped little jigs and bobber and that should be plenty for our tackle box yeah I, I really wasn't planning on um, cutting out all this stuff but I'm glad I'm glad I did now 
And then, like I said ahead of time, I had cut out a bunch of stuff. I want to use one of these silver jigs, and I want to use a few of the silver. I think these look like little lead weights, like like um, sinkers or split shot or whatever you want to call it. And let's grab a couple hooks. And those, like I said, I had cut out ahead of time with silver foil. Okay? All right, here we go. We're going to put our tackle box together. So we've got all of our fun little things here. And I really think in this compartment, I only need two, two bobbers. So I'm going to put one here. We'll put another one up on a dimensional. Like I said, we want to we want to give some dimension to our to our tackle box. I'm going to put a mini dimensional on the split shot and we'll add that right in here. Because who has just one thing in there? tackle box compartment, right? So there's that. And then I'm going to take my three little daredevils and we'll put one down flat. We can add another one on a dimensional. And then one more. We can do this one flat too. And we'll just kind of slip it. Maybe we'll put it upside down. I feel like we covered up a lot of the orange one there. But there. All right. Our three little daredevils. And maybe we'll give that a split shot popped up on a mini. Give that a little bit of silver in there. Good. Filling up our tackle box. What have we got going here? Good morning, Kathy. I'm so happy you're here. All right. We've got our other little jigs. So we'll put one down flat. We'll do, yeah, I think I'm going to add a dimensional to that one. And then we can add a dimensional to this one too. works pretty good. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of snail. Where did snail come from? This has been called seal for years now and I just called it snail. We'll put a little hook there. I'm going to put this up on dimensionals. And Feels like maybe we should have one more thing up here with these silvers. What do you think? I think yes. Let's bring in our little our little kit here. And maybe maybe we want one jig that just got thrown loosely in our tackle box. So, I've got these little silver hooks all over in my craft room. It's just like in the boat when you get hooks. There we go. I think this will be good up there. I'm going to add this in. Okay. Yay. So, there we have our tackle box. What do you think? Hey, Chris. Oh, Tina. Hi, 
Hi! Welcome! You're a first timer. Or that you've commented. I'm glad you're here. We're working on a tackle box card using the Let's Go Fishing Suite. <coughs> I'm going to add some adhesive to our designer series paper. And I'm just centering that. This designer series paper measures four by five and a quarter. And remember our tackle box was just that um, three and three quarter by five. It was just under that. so adding some adhesive. Want to make sure that stays down well. And I like to put the hinges up here at the top and then the opening tab down. And I know we don't see a lot of that plaid, but I feel like we see enough of the plaid just to give it um, a little bit more color, right? Are you loving this Let's Go Fishing uh, suite of products? I am. I am. I just love it. So now, good things come to those who wait. I love it, and it's a great fishing sentiment. But is what I really want is now I want something that is going to give us a good... Um, a good happy birthday. So is what I'm going to do is, and I didn't stamp the sentiment in the other because I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a retirement or if I wanted to do a happy birthday. And now I've decided that I want to do a happy birthday and we're going to be using the, it's called the Biggest Wish stamp set. So I want the happy and I want the birthday. I'm going to put the birthday on my long block and I'm just going to put the happy on this one. Now, a couple of things I want to share with you. When you have these solid stamps, we're not going to have any problem. <laughs> Watch, now we will. I'm going to take the Mossy Meadow again, and I want to stamp that inside the card. So I'm going to do Happy. Okay, I like it. But now, I'm going to take a scrap piece for this birthday and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp it down. And do you see because it's such a solid stamp how we get the, the blotches? I want a very nice solid image with this stamp set. So I'm just going to do my Simply Chamois, clean it. I'm going to bring in my Versamark watermark stamp pad. I'm going to ink up the birthday first. And as what that does is it just applies some extra stickiness to our stamp set. I can now stamp on the Mossy Meadow and the Versamark will not hurt my stamp pad. And now I can do my happy birthday right here. So I get that nice solid image on the inside. <laughs> Beth says, yes I am. Beth made a really cute card over on the Create with Brenda Crafters page. Um, she found an idea, I believe. Tell me if I'm right, Beth. But you um, kind of were inspired by someone who had made a fishing vest. And the card she posted over there is adorable. So now is what I want to do is with our last little bobber, I just want to add the bobber to the inside of my card. 
So we've got the tackle box and our bobber. Yay! I know some of you are thinking, oof, that's a lot of die cutting. But honest, once you start die cutting, it goes really fast. As you saw, I mean, I cut out three sets in just the time that we were together here at Coffee and Create. So, um, yeah, there it is. And then I'm going to do that same thing on the inside. Oh, I had this be a side open, which I wasn't totally crazy about. So this one I did traditional, like a top fold. But yeah, I'm going to stamp um, on the inside of this one. We'll do a happy birthday as well. I've got some male birthdays coming up, and I thought these would be, like, literally perfect for guy birthdays, right? And Father's Day, too, is just around the corner. So... Don't forget about if you have these bold stamps and you aren't getting a good stamped image, ink up first with the Versamark watermark pad and then into your ink. And like I said, it will not hurt your um, colored ink pad to do that, okay? All right, I'll show you the other card that I have created with the Let's Go Fishing. And it looks like this. Oh, here it is, you guys. Remember I was looking for it earlier, the rope? Look at how beautiful that is. I love, love, love this. The holographic paper would be perfect for cutting out the, um, the metal pieces as well, Beth. You're right. Yep. And... Um, I love your card and color choices. Well, thanks. Like when you look in a when you look in a tackle box, it's it's a mishmash, right? You got to have every color, you got to have every size, every shape. So I thought this was fun. All right, this was the rope three D embossing folder. That's part of this suite. It's really really pretty. But here's the other card that I've put together with this set so far. Like I said, I'm just kind of digging into it. But I used the designer series paper from the suite. In the dies, there's this long piece, and it's really cool. It cuts like a wave edge. But then it imprints, and I think you can see those if I hold it still. It imprints like these splash marks. This die actually cuts, it makes like a little ring, and then it cuts the paper. So I was able to slip the bobber down in there, tied a little bit of, of linen thread, and then a happy Father's Day. And I haven't done the inside of that one yet. So there's another idea with this set. And like I said, just because I love it so much, I know that there will be, I know there's more to come. So um, I don't know where we are for time, but I have some really cool swap cards from last month. It's a demonstrator swap that I participate in. Would, it, would you like to see the swap cards just to be inspired by the layouts? I've got them right here. Oops. I almost brought in another card I'm working on. All right. Let's see what we've got if people have time. I'll just do them. It's fun. They're fun. This is the... Um, Countryside Inn suite of products, and it looks like this. And this is by Kay Kalthoff. This was mine. I think I do have a video out there for it, but 
the acetate underneath and then I did the strips from the uh, Bright and Beautiful paper. And then just a happy birthday with a little balloon on the inside. Like I said, that was that was mine. This one was done using the masterfully made paper. I love it. But look at all the die cutting on this. There's the scissor with the with the um, iridescent gems. And there's the stamp and cut and emboss. The paper trimmer with a little sheet of paper. And it says, life is better when you're crafting. It's cute. This was by Don Michaels. And the name of that set is crafting, it's the Crafting With You bundle. So you get the stamps and then the dies. Fun. Thank you, Don. This is a card by Sherry Thiesing. Let's see. Here it goes. Just swinging by to say hi. Love, love, love these stitched dies. These are on the online exclusives. They're very cool. I've showed them before. And then this is that little, um, what's it called? The little monkey bundle. Very cute. Thank you, Sherry. Let's see what she did to the inside. Aww. Cute. Here's another one using that crafting. Crafting with you. This is by Mary Alice Bellis. Cool, cool. Look at, she even die cut out all those little buttons and did the scissors twice so that she has silver blades. Look, it's cutting a ribbon with the spool of ribbon. Mary Alice, you're just unbelievably talented. And then on the inside, you inspire me. Way to go, Mary Alice. This one is Michelle Baronic. She used the Cheerful Daisy paper, the go-to greetings, this is the new, one of the new ribbons in the combo pack from the Zany Zoo. And then on the inside, she lined the um, Moody Mauve with, I don't know, I have a hard time telling if it's Lemon Lime Twist, it is Lemon Lime Twist, or Parakeet Party. They're very close, but yet very different when they're side by side. Here's another one. This one is by Kim Lundstrom. She too used the, um, oh, what was it called? I forgot. Crafting with You bundle. So she has the easel that she stamped, the brushes. Look at the little basket with the flowers. Wait till you see this paper is the bright and beautiful. And wait till you see the inside. Look at, she has this embroidery hoop with a stitch circle and more of the paper. So cute, Kim. Thank you. So, you guys, that right there wraps up episode 372 of Coffee and Create with Brenda. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next Saturday. Bye for now.